Hello, and welcome back to Math with Miss V. In this video, we will be looking at complex fractions and how we can simplify them. So what is a complex fraction? A complex fraction contains a fraction or mixed number in the numerator, the denominator, or both the numerator and denominator. And remember, we can have a mixed number in any of those locations. So a complex fraction just contains some combination of fraction or mixed number in the numerator, denominator, or both. So what does a complex fraction actually represent? So we can remember that all fractions are division problems, and therefore complex fractions are a way to show division between fractions, mixed numbers, and or whole numbers. So the hardest part about a complex fraction is deciding where is my division? Now, generally speaking, um, with this type, the complex fraction has division between the two fractions. So the hard part is deciding what is your numerator and what's your denominator. Once you do that, the bar in between them is your division. And so this is another way of writing one third divided by five sevenths. And we know that we can change that to actually divide fractions, we have to change this division into multiplication. So one third divided by five sevenths turns into one third times seven over five, which gives us seven over 15 as a final answer. Now this is a very acceptable way to set up your problem to solve, but I am going to show you two other methods. So let's look at our first set of examples. We have one half over four. And to help out, I have coded the bar blue. This is the one that represents division. So we can write it as one half divided by four. And the first thing we would need to do is put our four over one so that it can be a fraction. And then we would change it into one half times one over four which gives us one eight. Another way to solve these is to leave it in its vertical math setup. So one half over four, we put our four over one, and then we think back to how reciprocals can turn a fraction into one multiplying by its reciprocal. So the reciprocal of four over one is one over four, and we know that when we solve that, we would end up with just one in the denominator. But to keep a fraction equivalent, what we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So we'd end up with one eighth in our numerator, but any denominator of one can be ignored. And so our answer as we see again is simply one eighth. Now I'm going to show you the method I prefer, which is a combination of the two. So I would start um, by changing my whole number, my five in my numerator to five over one. And then I think about my keep change flip that I use to help me uh, solve. And instead of writing them side by side, I would write them stacked up. So I'd keep my top fraction the same, see so my five over one, I'd keep that in the numerator the same. I would change this division bar into a multiplication dot, and I'd flip my second fraction, my fraction in the denominator over, so I end up with 10 over five. Then I would multiply as I usually would, and I would see that these fives can easily cancel each other out, leaving ones in their place. So one times 10 is 10, one times one is one, and as we said in the previous problem, we do not have to keep a one in the denominator. So this answer is simply 10. Now, as I said, this is my preferred method because you're skipping rewriting this as division. You're going right to the second step here to get your answer. And to me, it's less confusing looking than um, using the reciprocal. Um, any of these methods work. They will all give you the correct answer but I'm going to continue showing you this second method in our next two problems. Okay, so let's look at those. 
So we have nine twelfths over two thirds. So I'm going to think keep, change, flip in that order. So keep the nine twelfths the same. Change my fraction bar or my division bar into multiplication and flip my second fraction over. Now we need to simplify and I'm actually going to simplify the nine and the 12. They're both divisible by three. Nine divided by three is three. 12 divided by three is four. I'm ready to multiply. Three times three is nine. Four times two is eight. This is improper, so I need to change it into a mixed number. Eight goes into nine one time with one left over. So my answer is one and one eighth. Okay, last example. This one has a mixed number and unfortunately there are no shortcuts when solving with mixed numbers, except for we have to turn it into an improper fraction. So we would say eight times four is 32, 32 plus seven is 39. So 39 over eight, I would put my five over one and then use keep, change, flip. So keep my 39 over eight, change my division or fraction bar into multiplication, flip my second fraction over. Nothing can be simplified. So we're just going to go ahead and multiply. 39 times one is 39 and eight times five is 40. And that is my final answer. Thanks for coming by this Math with Miss V video. I hope it has helped you out. Have a good day.